What's up everybody? I'm Hoops and Hip Hop. So one of the most fun things about new Pokemon games are of course the new Pokemon themselves. And as we patiently await the announcement of more new Pokemon for Sword and Shield, it has been kind of fun over the past several weeks on the channel to talk about the different kinds of new Pokemon we could potentially see in these games. Whether that's new Pokemon in general, new evolutions for older Pokemon, new regional variants, or in the case of today's video, new Mega Evolutions. Yeah, I know this isn't the most original video idea in the world, but we have covered all of those other categories. I really enjoyed doing them. It seems like you guys really enjoyed watching the videos as well. And thinking about it, it just seemed like it would be kind of wrong to leave Mega Evolutions off the table if I did every other category out there. So we're going to go ahead, give Mega Evolutions their due, and talk about the top five new Mega Evolutions I would like to see in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, of course, Mega Evolution at this point in time is not confirmed to be returning into these games. We, of course, did not see any new Mega Evolutions in Generation 7, but it is still a fan favorite feature. It's one that so many fans want to see the return of in the form of new Mega Evolutions in these games. So hopefully Game Freak will grant our requests in these games with new Megas. And if they do, these five I'm about to talk about are the ones I would absolutely love to see. And they're ones that I think are at the very least somewhat likely as well. Also, any fan art that I do end up using in this video will be linked and credited in the description below, and if you get the chance, I highly recommend checking out these artists because they definitely deserve all of the support in the world. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. These are my top 5 potential new Mega Evolutions for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Coming in at number 5 on the list is Skarmory. Now, I'm sure you guys have probably heard about this rumored concept of armored evolution being introduced into Pokemon Sword and Shield, but instead of doing that, why don't we just go ahead and give a mega evolution to one of the original armored Pokemon, who is of course none other than Skarmory. I think Skarmory would be a great fit for a Mega Evolution, especially in these games, just based on a number of different factors. Number one, it is a Pokemon that does not evolve, so receiving a Mega Evolution would give it a little bit more competitive viability in the competitive scene. Number two, it is a Steel type, and as I'm sure you all know, it seems that Galar is a very industrial region that seems to also have a lot to do with Steels and subsequently Steel type Pokemon, so it would be great to see Skarmory get the spotlight with a Mega Evolution in these games. Finally, I just feel like the Johto region could use a little bit more Mega representation because as of right now, most of the Megas come from either Kanto or Hoenn with a little bit of Johto sprinkled in, a little bit of Sinnoh, and then like one Unova Pokemon and one Kalos Pokemon. So if we do indeed get more Megas in these games, I think Johto is definitely due at least a couple more and Skarmory would be a great one to see. Speaking of Kalos only having one Mega Evolution, if we do get more Megas in Sword and Shield, Kalos Pokemon are a prime candidate to receive this treatment, and one of the Kalos Pokemon I think would be the best to get a Mega Evolved form is Pyroar. It always seemed kind of weird that the region where Mega Evolution originated didn't really receive any Mega Evolved forms for their own Pokemon outside of Diancie, so now that we're a couple regions removed and a couple generations removed from the Kalos region, it makes all of the sense in the world to give us a few more Megas, especially in a region that is presumably right next door to Kalos as well. The reason why I picked Pyroar specifically is because it's just a really cool and iconic Kalos Pokemon. It is the signature Pokemon of Lysander, the leader of Team Flare, and we have seen the signature Pokemon of a couple other team leaders get Megas as well in the form of Camerupt and Sharpedo, so if we do get new Megas, I feel like Pyroar would be a really natural choice just for the simple fact that Kalos needs representation in this area. Kalos is most likely right next to Galar, and so it would be a natural choice because of that, and Pyroar specifically would also be a natural choice because it is the signature Pokemon of an evil team leader, who is obviously a very important character, so it really just makes all the sense in the world for Pyroar to get a Mega, and I hope we see it in Pokemon Sword and Shield. 
In at the middle of the list at number three, we have Luxray, and Luxray is an absolute no-brainer to receive a Mega Evolution, especially in Pokemon Sword and Shield. The reasons for this are that number one, Luxray is a generation four Pokemon, and as I have mentioned a couple of different times, I think it's pretty likely that we are going to get generation four remakes sometime soon, and I think it's at least decently likely that those will be the very next games after Pokemon Sword and Shield. So what better way to reference this, tease this, and kind of foreshadow this than to give some generation four Pokemon some Megas in Sword and Shield? And if you are going to give some Megas to some Gen 4 Pokemon, there really isn't a much better choice than Luxray, because just like Pyroar, Luxray is an iconic and very popular Sinnoh Pokemon, and it's also got a problem that a lot of fans want to see remedied, and could very easily be remedied with a Mega Evolution, and that is the issue of Luxray's type. Many people believe that Luxray should have been a dark electric type because it just fits that type perfectly with its design, and the opportunity to fix that with a Mega Evolution is there because of course, when Pokemon Mega Evolve, they can change types. And we even have seen this sort of thing addressed in the past with Mega Charizard X becoming a dragon flying type when many fans thought that Charizard should have originally been part dragon type in the first place. So we know that Game Freak has heard things like this from fans in the past, and in the case of Mega Charizard X, we also know that they have granted fans their requests, so doing it one more time with Luxray and giving it a dark type in addition to its electric type with a Mega Evolution is definitely not out of the realm of possibility, and with the Generation 4 remakes seemingly on the way in the next couple years, now in Pokemon Sword and Shield is the perfect time to make this happen. In the runner-up spot at number two, we are going to continue with the Sinnoh trend and talk about another Sinnoh Pokemon that I believe is nearly the prime candidate for a Mega Evolution in these games, and that would be Weavile. Now, unlike the previous two picks, Weavile doesn't really have any extra connections or reasoning to give it a Mega, outside of the fact that it is just an insanely cool Pokemon and would be even cooler with a brand new Mega Evolution. Weavile is one of the more popular Sinnoh Pokemon out there, so it does have that going for it, and it seems like it's just one of the more popular Pokemon in general. It did get selected as a fighter for Pokémon Tournament after all, so we know that it is on Game Freak's radar, so I think if they decided to give Sinnoh some love with some Mega Evolutions in anticipation for the Gen 4 remakes, I think there is practically no better Pokemon to give this treatment to than Weavile. And at the number one spot, we have some starter Pokemon. What starter Pokemon exactly, you might be asking? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure, so the number one spot is actually a three-way tie between the Johto starters, the Sinnoh starters, and the Kalos starters. Now, I personally believe if any Pokemon are going to get new Mega Evolutions, it is going to be some set of starter Pokemon, just for the simple fact that they are starter Pokemon. But when it came to which set was going to be the most likely in Sword and Shield, I really couldn't put my finger on one group over the other. It makes sense for the Johto starters because we just barely got Kanto Megas in X and Y in Generation 6, so it would make sense to follow that up with Johto Megas in Generation 8. And looking forward at the future of Pokemon, it doesn't really look like there's going to be another prime opportunity to do Johto Mega Evolutions for a while, whereas with Generation 4 and Generation 6, I could see them having some other opportunities down the line if we didn't get them in these games. On the other hand, though, it does look like these games are a prime opportunity to give us Sinnoh Mega Evolutions, just for the simple fact that it looks like Generation 4 remakes are on the way. And if you want to kind of foreshadow and tease that once again, like I talked about with the previous picks, what better way to do so than with Mega Evolutions of the Sinnoh starters? It's a perfect way to get people hyped for these games and get people hyped for what's to come in the future. 
However, even though there are all of these reasons as to why it would make sense to do Gen 4 Megas in Sword and Shield, there's also the reason as to why it wouldn't make sense, and that's the fact that if we are going to get Gen 4 remakes fairly soon, wouldn't it make more sense to save Gen 4 Megas for those games as opposed to doing them in these games? I honestly can see both sides of the story, so I'm really not sure which one to side with, and that's why I kinda had to tie it up at the number one spot with a couple other starter groups. And last but not least, we have the Kalos starters, and I believe that if we are going to get new Mega Evolutions in these games, now is as good of an opportunity as any to give new Megas to the Kalos starters, just for the simple fact that if they did not get them in Kalos, their home region, which is also the home region to Mega Evolution itself, then what better place to give them Megas than the region that is seemingly the next door neighbor to Kalos? It just wouldn't make any more sense at another time or place than it would right now in this region, especially if Kalos and Galar do end up having some kind of legitimate connection with one another, like some people are speculating. So, because all three of these starter groups all have their own legitimate reasons as to why they would be a good pick to receive Mega Evolutions in Sword and Shield and I couldn't really single one out over the other, I had no choice but to just do a three-way tie. You can decide for yourself which one you think is the most likely or which one you would like to see the most, but honestly, I would be happy with any of them just so long as we get Mega Evolutions because we really need to get new Mega Evolutions. It's just, it's just gotta happen. And there we have it, everybody. Those were my top five new potential Mega Evolutions for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, frankly, I really hope we get new Megas because it's a fan favorite feature. It needs to come back and there's just really nothing else to say about it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. Let me know down in the comments below which Pokemon you would like to see get a Mega Evolution in Sword and Shield and what you think of my list. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more new Pokemon content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Saturday. Also, if you like what you see here, you want to further support the channel, you can check me out on Spotify, follow me there, and listen to some of my music, and that is a great way to directly support the channel outside of just watching videos. And honestly, it does make a big difference in the future of the channel and my ability to make videos, so if you are already doing so or you're considering doing so, I sincerely appreciate it. With all of that being said though, I will be back on Saturday for another video, so be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as it goes live. And with all of that being said, as always, you know I love you guys, and I will smell you guys later.